Hey guys, it's your girl, the King K, AKA King Kelsey, AKA Kelsey Lynn. And I'm here today to talk to you guys about watermelon. Hey guys, I know, I know, I know we are out of season for watermelon. Like we are in fall as you can see people are bringing out sweaters and jackets and i totally get that but have you all noticed that there has been like a watermelon like spree this summer like everything has been in watermelon like they've been making watermelon juices and watermelon skincare and literally everything watermelon um so i bought a lot of things that was inspired by watermelon from this past summer just to show you what i got what i liked what i did not like and um and it wasn't it wasn't very many of them just to say like watermelon has it going on y'all like seriously they really made that like come to life um but also to let you know that there will be a giveaway of some of these watermelon products that I do have with me today. So stay tuned. So number one, I'm gonna show you my fit. I am wearing my um, acid wash or distress jean jacket lookalike um, from Free People. Free People is one of my absolute favorite companies to get any kind of clothing from. You guys know me anytime I put my braids in, I call myself a hippie. And not because like I believe in what they believe in, but more so of I feel like all flowy and flowery and like free and like woo, like that. That's that's the only hippie part of me. I like flowy clothes. I like ruffles. I have like so many styles to me, but it's definitely one of those. So this is like my nice little cool, almost like 90s, 80s kind of jacket that I didn't know they kind of had. Because usually they go for like a 70s. Uh, sometimes a 60s vibe, you know, with their clothing choices, you know, and sometimes even it's even more ancient than that, which I kind of like. I love period pieces, movies. But yeah, so I love this jacket. I'm rocking a pink or what I should say, baby pink naked wardrobe uh, bodysuit to match with it. I'm wearing the uh, lime green um, high waisted naked wardrobe pants. Um, they do not come as a set, but if you are interested in naked wardrobe or you wear naked wardrobe, you know that you can mix and match at your convenience. Um, also, I am wearing my pink Timberlands that I actually got from Ross on sale. Um, some of you guys may have seen me put that in my Instagram stories. And it was a great deal because we all know that all of these lines are not cheap. So if you're going to get a pair of Timberlands and you can find them at Ross, amazing. And they actually have some really bomb silver ones. I'm thinking Christmas style in there right now, but I, they were out of my size. So I couldn't get them, but they were super, super cute. Um, and I love them and I picked them up. They were in the wrong place at the right time. So it just worked out for me. Um, next, I have my little fluffy pink fanny pack and I can literally like stick my arms in it um keeps me warm she's more like a, a mauve type of pink but she still works um especially with these colors because the green really makes my legs like really kind of short and stubby and that's not really cute so adding this to my winter wardrobe especially now that it's getting cooler is really kind of um gonna like help you know bring my outfit together and also keep my hands warm and my money close to me you understand all right and as you guys know, my hair is obviously periwinkle ombre into pink. So this is my entire watermelon inspired outfit. And if you're wondering if I purposely braided my hair this color on purpose, I did, I did for the purpose of the video, but also because I really like these colors. But at the time I was thinking about making this video, I thought it'd be really cool to have also pink hair and I know I'm looking like somebody's AKA right now, but literally this is my watermelon inspired video. Also, I'm not sure if you guys saw, my best friend got this for me for my 30th birthday. It is gorgeous and I love it so It's a rose gold, so I just thought I'd add it to my pink collection. It says Kelsey Lynn and it's really pretty. And um, it's like one of my favorite gifts from my 30th. Uh, so this is my inspired wardrobe. I'm really feeling it. I'm really like 
kind of hippie 90s um 80s kind of vibe we're just doing we're all over the place and that's okay um so the first product that i wanted to talk to you about is this tea that i got from Trader Joe's. I don't know if it's still in your Trader Joe's. Once they sell out, they sell out because this was a summer item. I did buy two of these. No, you are not getting this in the giveaway because I really like this. Um, I really like the other products too that you're getting, but like you're not getting this though. But uh, the mint watermelon flavored black tea. It was really, really good. And we all know that black tea does have um, some caffeinated properties in it. So if you're a person who stays awake with caffeine, this may not work as like a really good bedtime regimen for you, but I definitely enjoyed it. Um, it. You can taste both of the flavors. You can taste the mint and you can taste the watermelon. Nothing is overpowering. I did have it um, after a large meal at night. Um, you know, in a lot of Asian cultures, they'll drink tea to help with their digestive system and help things start to move. So I had a large I was like, let me try the watermelon tea. It was delicious. It was refreshing. It was like a, wa a watermelon menthol in your mouth, like basically like Vicks for your throat. Like that's what it was. It wasn't crazy as Vicks because Vicks will totally open you up. But I tell you, you can feel and taste the mint and you can clearly taste the watermelon. It was very refreshing. One of my favorites. I think I especially like how they actually make the tea. It comes in these cute little actual tea drops like this. They're actually really, really nicely made. Like it's actually like tea tea. I love it. And you can smell it. It literally smells like watermelon. I like how it says meant to be. But they did a really great job on this. It has black tea, peppermint, spearmint, orange pills, natural flavors, licorice, and dried watermelon. And you can taste it all. It is very refreshing. I wouldn't even mind having this in the morning before I start my day. Um, one of my favorites, for sure. Next on the list, watermelon facial wipes. Now, these I just got, like, they're generic. They're from Ross. Like, I'm sure you can, like, literally find these. Everything has been on sale, right? Uh, because we haven't been able to shop. So, like, these were, like... Four bucks, three ninety nine at Ross, and I did get two of these, so someone will win this. Um, there was another set of watermelon wipes, and literally, I could smell the watermelon through the bag, and I wanted to get that one. I probably should have, but the only problem was whatever, because it didn't come like this. It had the little sticker on it. You know, I use sticker and peel. Um, it didn't have this on it. I guess it had come off uh, this part. So I didn't know the brand. There was nothing written on the back. I didn't know what I was using, y'all. So that was like a little scary, you know. But literally, I could smell the watermelon through the wipes. And I wanted them so bad. But because I didn't know what was in it, I was like, uh these might have been tampered with. I don't know. You know, it's raw. Sometimes it'd be like that sometimes. So I did get these. Um, these do not smell as like watermelon like the other one did. They are, it is very faint. So if anybody has like sensitive skin or they're sensitive to certain smells, this is perfect for you. Um, it does, you know, wipe nicely. They're not amazing wipes. I mean, they're from Ross. So this just this is just a watermelon video. You know what I mean? But um, at least you have something to wipe, you know, the makeup off your face. But these were pretty cool. I didn't, I usually like to use these for getting the mascara off of my lashes. Um, I find that when I'm using oils and other things, I still find that it somehow gets into my eye and it's really annoying. And it just takes me way longer to clean my face than I would like. Um, so, mm, no, I, I definitely love using this for that. So. so next stop, watermelon wine from my favorite winemaker, Stella Rosa. The reason I love Stella Rosa is because they do make everything. So if you want a dry wine, they do make that. If you like something sweet, they make that, etc. One thing I will say is that you only taste the watermelon at the beginning, like the first sip. That was a little disappointing. For me, I must say, get it together, people, because like if it's watermelon flavor, I want to taste it throughout the entire 
thing. Um, this one was a little bit stronger um, to my surprise though, and I'm a sweet person. So that was kind of like interesting. Um, I don't know if it's my bottle or maybe I just need to try this one. I don't know, but um, it is my favorite brand. I only tasted the watermelon at the very beginning. So I was a little bit disappointed because I was ready for that sweet flavor. But also you guys have to remember that watermelon is like a clean, fruity, watery, taste and so it doesn't surprise me that um the strongness of it took was taken over um so it is what it is so all that to say you can definitely taste the alcohol more so i'm a little disappointed <laughs> so trader joe's also had other brands of juices that they had and one of them was the watermelon cucumber cooler now, this was one of my least favorites. Um, I say that because I really felt like the cucumber took over, literally. Um, also, I felt like I was licking the outside of the cucumber and that I was drinking chlorophyll almost. But literally, like, if you licked the outside of a cucumber with a little bit of watermelon, that's what this tastes like. And I did not enjoy that. <laughs> um, I really think they need to revamp this the next time they bring this out. Come on, Trader Joe's. You guys are good at a lot of things. Let's let's fix this. I, I felt like this could have been good. Um, somewhat like the tea where either the flavors were going to be like complimenting each other but whatever part of the cucumber they put in here which i think it was the outside y'all need to only do the inside or something or like press it or let it sit something i don't know but it was way too much i did not like this um i tried to drink it and mix it with other things but the fact that this is still in my refrigerator and we're in fall should tell you how much like i don't like it because it was nasty that's all I got to say about that. Now what I did like and what is my favorite, and yes, I have multiple of these because again, this is a summer collection thing. So I bought like five, you know, at the time that I realized that they weren't gonna have these later because they were my absolute favorite. Trader Joe's, you guys killed it with the watermelon sparkling juice. Amazing, you guys. I love these. These are very refreshing. Y'all, like, I remember I was walking down the street with my mom and I was like drinking my juice because we were going to walk to Ross. I was like, mm, this is like really good. It was like the first time I had ever tried. I was like, oh, this is really good. Why this homeless man was like, oh, can I have some money? And we're like, well, we really didn't have any cash on us. It was like, we don't have any cash. Da, 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 da. He was like, well, can I have that juice? And I didn't know he was talking to me. And my mom was like, because he's talking to you. He wants your juice. I was like in the middle of drinking it. I was like, but like, it's good though. Like, but I'm, I'm drinking it and I just had my mouth on it. You want this? Like, I was really upset. <laughs> I gave it to him. But normally, if I'm drinking for something from my mouth, I'm not going to give that to you. That's a little weird and creepy. But the fact that he was so hungry or whatever that he wanted, that he was willing to drink this juice. Like, I was like, okay, you must be really hungry. Here you go. Needless to say, this stuff is so, so good that I didn't even want to share it y'all I had a selfish moment I'll be honest but I did I did share it but I love this stuff so if you do find that you do still have this in your Trader Joe's go get it and go stock up because I'm definitely stocked up y'all like it's delicious so good Trader Joe's did amazing so good um next and you guys I have a lot of skincare and I'm getting hot so we just gonna we just gonna take a little jacket off <laughs> okay so I love Asian, Korean skincare, okay? So I don't know if you guys have a Riley Rose in your area, but here in California, there was a little store called Riley Rose in the Fox Hills Mall, which is now called Westfield, if you're new to Cali. Um, and it's right in Culver City, okay? And so Riley Rose actually partnered with Forever 21, and it was a place you could get all types of different, various types of skincare. A lot of it was like the little boutique, like um, Lime Crime, 
time and other things and what they brought in was a lot of Korean skincare as well. They had a whole lot of things that you could try and I really love that store. So the fact that um, they were no longer able to keep their doors open um, was kind of sad to me, but I really did like how um, Forever 21 made a space for them. Now, I don't know if you can actually go online, look up Riley Rose and order. I don't know if it's just that mall because I don't really know how big their branding is, but if you're ever in California and if you ever need like some good skincare, go into the Forever 21 at the Westfield Mall. They have a whole area of skincare and it is absolutely amazing. I was really quite surprised. So I have from, I, I might butcher this name, so don't, don't judge me, but it's, I think it's called um, Hanhu. And as you can see, this definitely is like a Korean skincare brand. And it's their Watermelon Illuminator Overnight Serum. Um, this does come with a little applicator at the bottom. I didn't know. So it looks like this. Really, really cute. As you can see, it has a slight pink tint to it, but it's not like a whole bunch of artificial coloring or anything like that in there and here is your little applicator now it is like kind of like clear and like gummy looking um almost like slimy jelly um if i were to turn this over it would come out um but it is amazing on the skin you use this at night like after you've washed and toned your face um i won't say that it mixes well with other things so it's like kind of like an overnight treatment they call it a serum I suggest you just use this by itself, um, literally, just use it by itself. It does get a little bit sticky, but once you wash your face in the morning and put on whatever you put on, you guys, my face was so supple and dewy and moisturized. It was ridiculous. Um, I do have combination oily skin so I can be dry sometimes but I'm always like generally oily in the t-zone um I pick up my pimples here sometimes like here 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 you know what I mean like in that little t-zone area you know and depending on what oils I've actually used in my hair I could possibly you know break out you know on the hairline so I, I'm pretty careful with that too um but no this was great um I can see why they made a watermelon line you know during the summer because it was so moisturizing but I also feel that this line is also needed in the winter because just as hot and dry as your skin can be in the summer it can do the same thing in the winter depending on your skin type right so I really thoroughly enjoyed this if you guys do not know about this it's it's a you you you're gonna love it it's really amazing and it, it smells pretty good too i don't i don't think i even really sniffed it to see if it smelled like watermelon or not not really it's kind of clean smelling but it definitely works very very well so one of the first few ingredients is watermelon you guys so that that tells you something yeah and the very first ingredient is water, but it definitely has watermelon fruit extract, apple fruit extract, pineapple fruit extract, has quite a few things in here. Um, so it's not just watermelon, but the main one is watermelon. Really good stuff. Next, I definitely went to Nordstrom's Rack and saw these. And I was like, oh my God, there's watermelon everywhere. So they have an entire line and it's called Danielle Creations. So they have these eye masks, they have these nose strips, and they have a face peel, you guys. So this is the entire Danielle collection. You guys feel free to look these up on the internet and see if you can get them anything that I'm talking about do it because the stuff is really really good um my favorite out of all three would definitely be the hydro gel under eye mask when i tell you i don't just use these for under my eye like literally i will use them for they say keep them on for 20 to 25 minutes under here i'll put keep them on longer i'll move them up around here once i get like you know because sometimes you get like right around here it'll get a little little lines there that's not cute so we move them up okay I even put them right above my eyebrow and then I moved them like a mustache around my mouth because like I have a really big smile so like generally these are lines but as you can see 
no lines here today okay so i put them around here i will even put them in my forehead because like i'll get like one or two lines like right here and it's just so annoying um so what it does is it helps with moisturizing it helps firming and diminish the appearance of lines and wrinkles so i was putting them everywhere i felt I needed them and it was way past an hour and they were still juicy. They're kind of silicone-y. You know, if you've ever used or seen me talk about the 100% pure mask that I use and it's kind of like gel looking, you can even scroll down my Instagram and see it, it's yellow. It's that type of texture. And it does smell like watermelon. Um, I do like these, these are a favorite. They were like $2.67. Now their original price, I don't know. I got them from Nordstrom's Rack. Um, but they were inexpensive and I loved every bit of them and I still have some out, okay? Um, the nose strips. Now, I got kind of confused on the nose strips because I thought that after I peeled it off that the pink part needed to come off or something else needed to come off. It's okay. If you do get these, do put it the pink part on your nose and then all you do is you wet your hand and you wet it so that it kind of sticks and once it dries then you peel it off and it'll like reveal whatever gunk that you have on your nose or in your nose i should say um i did like these it did not move now when you dealing with eye mask um sometimes because it's silicone it's only right there they do slide so you have to keep pushing it up or you may just want to lay down or be still, something like that. But these were fine. Like once they were on, they were on um, and then they dried and they're supposed to help remove blackheads, whiteheads, uh, dry out any impurities, refine your pores. If you have large pores and they're filled with like dirt, gunk, whatever that you have a hard time getting out of your skin, it's supposed to pull and draw all of that up. It also helps balance your sebum production. So your sebum is like the natural oils in your skin that um, produce out of your skin, you know, if you're oily or not oily, that's your sebum production, right? And sebum production is even on your scalp for people who have oily scalp, it's the same thing. Um, so if you have an imbalanced or production of oils it helps to balance that so maybe you're not producing enough or maybe you're not you're producing like way too much especially because i'm the oily teaser in person like this gets really shiny so it helps to balance that out i did like this you only leave this on for 15 to 20 minutes um it didn't hurt when you pull it off now you do have to like you know get a little tug but um it was really really nice um, it has hyaluronic acid in it, definitely watermelon extract and vitamin A. And the same thing for this. They both have those three ingredients in it. And if you know anything about hyaluronic acid, moisture, 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 that is what it gives you. So both of these had it. I loved it. And I think some of the other serums had hyaluronic. Hyaluronic is like one of the number one paired up ingredients with these watermelon lines because they say that watermelon is the most hydrating fruit and has like so many vitamins in it that you can actually eat right so last but not least we have the pill off your face mask does anybody remember that video on instagram where that girl did that like charcoal peel and she was screaming that's the one right there but you know what it's not actually a bad pill right the only reason you scream is that a lot of people have little teeny tiny like skin tone, most likely blonde or whatever, or brown, hairs on their face. So if you're putting this everywhere, it literally pulls the hair out the root. It's like you got a face wax, y'all. Like if you ever got your lip wax, this right here, you can do it for free, right here. It'll get all the little hairs, I promise you. Like, I feel like I have no hair on my face. I definitely miss some spots, but ow. <laughs> um, so when you are taking this off, you definitely want to hold the skin because you don't want to mess up the elasticity of your skin but you definitely want to hold and move as you peel it off um you do have to let this dry it does improve skin elasticity but again gotta peel it off correct okay um it helps reduce inflammation so if you are acne prone and your face is breaking out it kind of helps reduce inflammation and redness okay um if you have dry and dull skin so this is even for people who you know maybe you're not the oily type maybe you're just dull and you need a little bit of love in there it helps to rejuvenate that dry and dull skin also um it does again have watermelon extract and vitamin a and it helps to tighten to hydrate and to firm 
uh, the skin and reduce fine lines and wrinkles, etc. Just like the eye strips. Um, but also helps remove like any dead skin cells, um, removes dirt and oil and other impurities for like a smoother and more glowy complexion. Okay. Um, this was okay. I have to prepare myself mentally to put this back on my face. <laughs> Because it hurt, but um, I guess I just won't put it where my little hairs are. And my hair, my little hairs are like right here, right, you know, my little ones. And then my, my hairline so close to my eyebrow now, I was definitely careful because I put it, y'all, I put it close to my eyebrow. I promise you I waxed my eyebrow. It was, anyway, be careful. Don't just be all willy-nilly with this product. You're going to be upset. <laughs> and so the whole point is to peel it off dry, okay? So you don't want to just wash it off. It's supposed to lift up everything that it's attached to that's how it works um but if you do have any residue and you are concerned you can wash it off now similar to that was another product that i did get from uh forever 21 from the riley rose uh area um they don't they don't show it as riley rose because you know, Riley Rose is technically gone, but it is that area. Um, is the One Step Care Watermelon Nose Pill Off. It is very similar to this pill. So you don't need both, I'll be honest with you. They are both thick and sticky and they both need to dry, okay? Um, except this one seems to be a Korean brand, okay? It was very difficult for this particular brand for me to see like what I'm supposed to do because I was like, what what the benefits? It doesn't really like say what the benefits are, but if you know what most things for your nose do, it's peeling out the dirt and all the other stuff. So that's what I assumed. Um, all they basically tell you is like how long to keep it on. Um, and it was the same thing, right, as this. I just put it on my nose and just took it off and it did bring some stuff up so that was cool um it's a little tiny little tiny tube like this again you don't need a lot i promise you you don't at all and i even like put this on my chin because just like my nose my chin holds a lot of things that it shouldn't okay and i don't like it so definitely put this on my chin definitely get this if you would like that this was, I got this um, probably over a year ago now. I only use it for certain occasions. I put this in my makeup kit for my clients. But this is a sanitizer from Touchland. And the scent is, as you know, watermelon. I love this stuff. Um, a friend of mine told me about it and I just had to go in there and get it um they do have other scents I think they had like lavender or like cucumber I can't remember um and I don't know if they just had it for the summer at that time too but it's moisturizing it's a hand sanitizer it's cute it's quaint I loved it I put it in my makeup kit now can you put this in your purse of course but if something like hits that like you're in trouble <laughs> it's gonna be spraying everywhere so i definitely just use this like for my makeup kit but i love this hand sanitizer um you guys i've been sleeping on mac for a while especially while all of these other brands have been coming out with their own makeup lines and things like that but y'all mac had a fix uh watermelon spray this summer you guys and i just had to get it okay and like literally oh my god it smells so good but it's watermelon i think it was only for the summer and if they have any left you can get it but if they don't i did get it at the very beginning of the summer i don't know if you guys saw some of those videos but and then i also did purposely did not wear like a ton of makeup or anything so i don't have on any foundation or anything so i wanted you guys to see my skin so you could see what this watermelon was doing to me okay as you can see like i used to have like a line right here that is smooth under here i have huge eyes you guys i got i got big eyes so when i smile like i had like lines okay if you look at some of my older videos especially when i was getting off uh the kind of cruise ships i was tired you could see them i was like, I was like oh my god i need a skincare regimen looking at that video but like the lines, mm, what lines, okay? Forehead lines, only when I do like that. But like, these watermelon products, so good. You guys, go and get them um, if you like, if you have similar skin to me, or if you just kind of want to be adventurous. 
Um, they were really amazing. So another thing that I got from Ross was this watermelon and prickly pear cactus jelly cleanser. This was like four bucks. I think the original price was like eight dollars. Um, I'm really big and this is by Spa Scriptions on not using really harsh soaps on my face because we feel like it's gonna dry out our skin and do all this stuff but obviously I'm putting other very moisturizing products on but what I found out for someone who is being you know combination oily that this really pulls out the gunk in your skin I will say this if you have dry skin this is not the product for you at all normally I wouldn't even buy a facial wash from Ross in the first place um especially not like a cheap generic brand either um but this did really good I remember I was like looking at my pores and I saw my pores like right here and I was like oh I gotta get to my esthetician when she opens back up Jesus just let them open back up this COVID is doing too much but I use this you guys immediately I saw the difference in my pores so if you are oily or if you are combination oily like this is really good obviously follow back up with a very moisturizing regimen okay or something that has hyaluronic acid in it something but this really cleaned up my skin very nicely. I was very surprised. And anytime I see that I can see my pores, <laughs> I'm pulling this bad boy out. It was only four bucks at Ross, okay? Not a bad investment, okay? And it's really thick, so I feel like it's gonna last me a long time. <laughs> so what I usually follow up after I wash my face is the Bliss Watermelon Refreshing Toner, you guys. This is amazing. I love this toner. It is my new toner. Um, so I pray that I can actually get this elsewhere without it, you know, just being summer and being the summer fling thing. You know what I'm saying? I really enjoyed this toner. Definitely have another one of these bad boys for you. Oh, I also have another one of these for you as well. But this toner, you guys, is amazing. This is made by Bliss, and I did get this from the Riley Rose area at Forever 21 and the rest of the Bliss collection as well. Um, I like it because it already has witch hazel in it, and I automatically use witch hazel as a toner already. Um, so the fact that it already had that in there was amazing because I really need like my skin very clear But it also has willow bark extract and if you are a willow bark fan or you if you have oily skin all that kind of stuff It is great For all of that and then the watermelon just really refreshes the skin gives it due because you know Usually when you put a toner on, you know, you feel cool but this one is like really, really good. And I'm not a big fan of using products that are not 100% natural. So this is really making me go out of my comfort zone with all this trying stuff on my face, y'all. Like this is not my thing at all. Like I look at something like, oh, I don't like that. Why they got me using this? You know, where brands will send me stuff and I'll be like, I don't think you're gonna like my review. But you know, it's about getting the right thing right so i definitely uh got this it has willow bark it has watermelon it has witch hazel it even has cucumber and even like some rice extract in here and oat it's really good one of my favorite toners you just open it up put your little cotton swab right there press 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 and like you're good to go y'all are definitely getting one of these and that is out of the kindness of my heart because i could really keep it because it's that good okay um, and then you have the What a Melon Overnight and, um, Brightening and Distressing Mask. Um, so if you have like really dull skin or maybe you just kind of need to relax, like you need some lavender in, 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 in your regimen, this is a good one for you. Um, it doesn't feel amazing on the skin. It's literally one of those things where they say, wake up and wash your face. Like that's in the instructions wake up refreshed and dewy you know like you need to go wash your face off and put on your products like you normally would and you'll see the results of the mask kind of like the other overnight serum but they call this one a mask um it's similar in the fact that you sleep with it um do not mix anything with this if you use this like it does dry so you're gonna massage it into your face for like a minute 
I don't know why I didn't show this to you. I'm just like looking at it myself. I'm like, oh, okay. There it is. It's kind of shiny. Okay, kind of iridescent, kind of like my nails. That's what it looks like. If you see my nails, that's what the product looks like. You definitely want to just, you know, if, you have, if you're tired, you're working all the time, your skin needs to look refreshed. This is a great one for you. You sleep in it, you let it dry. Um, it is kind of like sticky, kind of odd feeling. Um, but when you wake up and you wash your face, it looks and feels amazing and dewy. I actually went and did someone's hair and they were like, your skin looks so good like what are you doing and i was like it's all the watermelon products that i'm using for this review wait for it <laughs> now if you're wondering if all the products that i have left are about skin it's not i have other watermelon things so just stay tuned but i'm trying to get all of this out of the way first okay so last but not least from the bliss collection is the watermelon jelly hydrator for combination skin i'm definitely combination now this is very light Okay, it does say it's for combination skin. So if you're like an oily person and you don't want to add extra oils to your skin, this is good for you, right? Um, I definitely feel that they definitely made this for uh, the summer because like, you know, usually your skin produces way more oils in the summer than it does in the winter. And um, this doesn't add a whole super, 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 super a lot of moisture to your skin. Um... It does have hyaluronic acid in it though, that's for sure. It does have willow bark in it. Yeah, lightweight moisture to dry areas and a gentle exfoliating feel. Um, so I feel like this is something you definitely need in the summer or if you're like sweating all the time, this is a great moisturizer for you. I don't think it's gonna do anything for you in the winter cause mm, mm, no. <laughs> now, if you want to add a bit of pop to it just add like one of your light moisturizing oils like do like a drop or two right on top of this i think that would be really really nice if you want to transition this into your winter or your fall regiment um other than that just use this in the summer sorry i'm not even like showing it to you guys for sure i haven't even pulled it out the box <laughs> but yeah it was super super light you guys super light Kind of jelly looking. Uh, I will say this probably wasn't my favorite, but um, everything started to get cooler. So we're supposed to have like a really, really hot day or a hot week. Like next week's supposed to be like in the 90s. So I'm actually going to try this again when it's a lot hotter and see what it does. But I really think this was made for like hot days. So... All right, guys, so one of my Rasta Free sisters and a friend of hers actually makes this. This is black owned and I thought this was so cool and I hope it's just not like a summer thing tea, but um, it's a cocoa butter and you can use it on like your skin after you get out the shower that type of thing I actually did the makeup for their photo launch for their brand and their product is amazing and it has like a nice watermelon scent to it it's called center in and it's their body butter it is watermelon though you guys it doesn't have any artificial coloring or anything like that um but listen you can smell like the fruitiness in it you definitely smell the shea butter Okay, so it's not a strong shea butter smell, but if you were to add like watermelon fruit to shea butter, that's literally what it smells like. It smells so good. It's whipped, very easy to put on your body if you want even. What I like to do if something gets like a little bit more tough because it is shea butter, I will stick it right by the shower and the heat from the shower will allow it to kind of like melt and soften so that I can just whip it on and throw it on my body and do it wet because it's really really good so it's called love daphne number two watermelon i thoroughly enjoyed this um definitely get it if you still can um or maybe just ask them for like a special make something like that these jars are reusable you guys so if you want like a little mason jar you can put little decorations in it or make some jams or some baby food whatever you want to do with it you can definitely reuse this and they did that on purpose this is a glass jar um so that helps with like recycling and other things of that nature i love it purchase it it felt good on my skin on my body and it smells great 
Uh, my next one is the Saint Topaz. Is that how you say this? So this is a gradual tan watermelon in fused lotion what this does and it does have hyaluronic acid in it is you know usually when we get tans we may get like harsh lines or um it's unsafe for us to be technically in the sun that long you know and it is you know the same way like black people need to wear suntan screen too yes we have more melanin and um even if you're more brown skin you have more melanin to protect you from the sun but you can still receive you know adverse you know uh things from it if you're in it too long um black people do get skin cancer it's not something that's uncommon so what this does is it it gives you a protective layer um to allow yourself to tan um, evenly and correctly and adding that uh, nutrients to your skin as well. Um, so lock in moisture for 72 hours and gradually build up a flawless skin um, skin kissed glow. Now I did not get to use this yet because it was kind of later in the summer when I did buy this and yes you can get one of these. Um, so we're supposed to have like a hot week like I said before sometime later so that is when I will be adding this onto my body and probably sunbathing for like day and see what happens because you know trying to get some sun in this california winter is like i don't know hard days but it does have watermelon and obviously and hyaluronic acid in it so it is a moisturizing property in there um but it says moisture lock technology provides up to 72 hour moisture for most even flawless tan okay and it'll be healthy a healthy tan Okay, something that's protecting your skin and allowing your skin to kind of cook <laughs> healthier. <laughs> it's kind of like when you have those like little healthy flat irons that's supposed to evenly heat your food or the little healthy pots. That like, oh yes, this doesn't break, you know, I know what I'm trying to say, whatever. There's this too. So I saw this in Target and I was like, oh snap, let's do it. So Soft Lips, which I have not used in ages, has a watermelon chapstick it's also got some sunscreen in it, in it too you guys so i don't know if you've seen those ladies with like those wrinkled lips i'm telling you the sun eats everything be careful but it's really refreshing um i would say this reminds me of the tea legit that's what this reminds me of it does come two in a pack and yes i do have a pack for you guys if you guys want to try it out it's great sun protection it's very refreshing doesn't leave your lips dry it does smell watermelon like um i thoroughly enjoy it it does have like also a little bit of a menthol smell in there too but it's a really good one i'm very picky on chapsticks if it doesn't really have like peppermint in it is usually just gonna leave my lips dry and ridiculous so i actually really liked this one i use it before i go to bed you know you wake up with your lips dry and cute so <laughs> i use it before i go to bed i haven't had a problem i love it you guys should try it for sure so next these are a series of drinks that i tried um that have watermelon in it or are made from watermelon first one is juice bay my homegirl raquel kills this place like she really does a great job she's transitioning out of the industry so she had different vitamins and juices and the one i got obviously is watermelon it's cold pressed alkaline very healthy for you come visit her she's literally right next door to my shop the next place that i try is plant junkie they had like a watermelon mint smoothie that they were making and it was really good really light really refreshing um i could definitely taste both of those flavors it was really really yummy um absolutely enjoyed every bit of it super yum i would say very similar to your jamba setup and the last one is the hive definitely went here for my birthday weekend in santa monica i would say this would be probably the healthiest of all of them um like chia seeds and all kinds of like healthy veganistic <laughs> things in here so definitely try either one of these drinks if they're still out um i don't know where my mints are you guys trader joe's had like these watermelon mints and it literally tastes like again this tea um it was refreshing um it was minty um but it had that cool watermelon flavor it almost kind of tasted like the soda like low-key too like the, the sparkling watermelon juice and this is literally you guys watermelon juice okay carbonated watermelon juice um so it kind of tasted something like that i don't know where they are 
but like because <laughs> usually if I can't find something that's that's where it is but um I don't know where they are you guys but they taste really really good they may still be on your shelves because mints don't go as fast as other things but I'm gonna put a picture right here so you can kind of see what it is that I'm talking about um other than that my last watermelon product which is my absolute absolute favorite type of candy or gummies I should say is my sugar fina sugar lips and yes you do get one of these now i will say that this has three flavors in it it has strawberry cherry and watermelon but the fact that it has a watermelon in it is the reason why i got it for you um so the lighter the one that's in the middle you have the light one you have the dark one and you have the one that's in the middle the one that's in the middle is the watermelon one how do you know i ate it i tasted it and i figured that's what it was because cherry is usually dark strawberry is generally like light right so i was like i'm thinking watermelon's the one i've only ate one of them because i didn't want to like eat the whole thing and then you don't see what it is but i picked right <laughs> so watermelon is the one in the center but if you like strawberry and cherry obviously you have those flavors in there as well these are my favorite gummies in the whole wide world they are luxury for the tongue literally um so definitely try these out uh you can get sugar fina basically at the sugar fina store if you have one in your area or just hop into nordstrom's or nordstrom's rack um if you're in nordstrom's rack it's probably going to be like in that little queue in the aisle where they have all the little special candies and foods but if you're in nordstrom's they're going to have their own little setup and you can probably get more than what you think you can get but obviously again this is summer so it was definitely in nordstrom's rack so um i got it for a little bit cheaper than you normally get it because these gummies are expensive it's like seven bucks or probably like eight or nine depending on what you get um but it wasn't like that big of a difference in price but um i love these they taste amazing they have literally plenty of flavors like rosé and baby champagne and um peach bellini and all the little flavors all so good so good like i literally have an entire row in my um snack drawer shelf area in my vanity i don't know if you can see it in this video because the curtains are high in it but it's like literally a row of sugar vena gummies but thank you guys for watching i hope you liked it so if you did to qualify for the giveaway you have to leave a comment down below talking about what you thought about the video and leave your name and share this share this video please please share the video Okay, um, the second way you can enter is to go on Instagram. I do have a photo on Instagram that you can repost on your stories or on your page. And below, you're going to tag at least three friends and they must be following me. Okay, so you guys go out. I'm waiting for you. I hope you love this video and whoever wins. I hope you love these products. They were amazing. Um, but <sighs> watermelon is ridiculous and it is God's gift to man. Okay, I'll see you guys later. Bye.